We're learning to play Rain from the Grade 3 Trinity Syllabus. Uh, we've been doing lots of work. Hopefully you can play all the way up to bar 12, hands together. If you can't, you need to go back and do some more work with the previous videos. Now, we're going from bar 13. Um, so, bar 13, that's the third bar of the third line. Let's, let me just play a bit here, uh, and let's just find where's a good chunk to work up to. So we're going to go... Look at that first of all. So what's the right hand doing? You've got a D, an E, and a G. So that's that chord. It's like the chord you start the piece with. In fact, it's the same chord. So that was your left hand, and that's your right hand doing it. So that was one, three, four, one, three, five. It's going to be two, three, five, one, three, five. So the right hand goes. And you're going to keep doing that for quite a long while. Uh, and the left hand, now you've just sent, this is the bit where you just ended with the, uh, where we got to there. So you've already got the C there, so we've got C. And then let go of the C, take your hand right down, F sharp with your second, a low one. And that F sharp goes with the next chord. And then... again so fourth up on the C one two three four move so if you've got that let's have a little look you might want to pause the video there just go back over that or if you're happy with that let's look at what happens from bar 17 so we've still got the same chords going in the right hand at bar 17 so second fourth line second bar so that carries on, and another one. Now, can you see the chords move down? So your little fingers on G, bring your little finger down to E. Then move it down again, little finger on C. And then you just keep doing F chords, up one to a G chord, and then up an octave to another G chord, and you're going to go... It's quite strange. It'll make sense when you put the left hand bit under it. So, let's just look at that again. So that was from bar 17. You were going... Move down a third to E. Move down a third to C. And then just keep playing Fs. Up one to a G major up an octave to another D major. Okay, so what's the left hand doing? Bar 17. Now the left hand is suddenly switched into treble clef and it's going... Can you hear those? Feel those syncopations? So let's look at the fingering. Because you'll see G to E and you want to put your third. But we're going to put our second on this E. Why? Not just to make things hard, but because... We want to set ourselves up to get down to the B with your fourth and up one note to C and that's left your little finger free to pick up the A and then thumb there. Okay, so you've got G, E with your second, B with your fourth C, A, B, C, E. So that's, that's the melody there, isn't it? It's not in the right hand, it's in the lower hand. Ya -da, da -da. And last line, you repeat the C, D, E, C, D, E, D, G, C and E, C and E. So that C and E is going to be under that G chord, and that C and E is going to be under that G chord, but you're going to, you're going to roll it out like that. Right, so... place this tune. So if necessary you need to pause the video and just work on this melody. But then last line. C, D, E getting quieter, getting slower. 
So, the right hand's doing this. So it's like this. You see what you've got to do? Now I'm exaggerating it a bit at the moment just so you can hear it really clearly. So it's... Okay, so it's together, right, left, right, right. Together, right, left, right, right. Together. So that little bar there, which is bar 16, 17, 18, 19, slightly different rhythms going on. So it goes together, right, left, right, together, together. Now there's a very slightly different bit uh, in the right hand here. So. So going from bar 17 a sec, we're going to go. So end of the fourth line. Now something slightly different. Now instead of playing another A minor, see that? Just one slightly different thing there we're going to put in. Then going to the last line, bar 21, this hand moves down onto that. Left hand, middle C, okay? So it goes together. Right, left, right, together, and again, together, right, left, right, together, and then we're just going to keep doing F chords, together, right, left, right, right, and then the C and an E with the G chord. So that's all played together, like that, then move that whole thing up an octave, and you're going to do a split, a glissando. And it's up to you how you, whether you go or you go. Okay, you can only just see that in the camera, but there we go. Just see it there. That's it. And that's it. So, I, one last time now, I'm going to go back from, uh, I've forgotten where we're working from now. I think we were working from bar 17, from that bit there. And, 